Next, I'd like to show you how you can access all the data that's collected by the icon. So from the startup menu, select the settings button, and then the data tab, turning it blue to show you've selected that one. So the icon records data every time you fill a prescription or whenever you count pills in the count only mode or in the um, inventory mode. So this menu is used for accessing some of that data. The first checkbox here, enable reporting, should always be on. There's really no good reason to turn off reporting on the icon, so just make sure that box is checked. Next, the tray photo count just gives you a quick uh, verification that the icon is saving pictures. If that number is not changing, then your tray photos are not being recorded. And the next one is the transaction purge time. This is how long the icon saves those records in the database as well as the tray photos that are collected for every prescription filled. The default is 180 days and the maximum is 180 days. Recommend you just leave it at 180 days, but if you decide you want to change it for some reason, click the keyboard icon next to that button, key in the number of days you want to save for, and press OK. The next section on the data tab is the report data section. The first button here, download report data, is used to download all of the transactions that are recorded when you dis either dispense prescriptions or use the count only mode on the icon. So pressing that button gives you an informational screen saying we've now created a file in a format that is easily imported into Excel. In addition, if you want to copy that file to a memory stick, it advises you can do so. However, it will also copy all of the JPEG files on board the icon, so it's warning you that this could take a little while. If you press yes, it's going to ask you to insert a USB memory stick. So if I take my USB memory stick and simply insert it into the back of the icon, there's two ports on the back and either one of them is usable for this. Simply insert the stick, wait a second, and then press yes. Next you're prompted, would you like to re re uh, compress the report count tray images into a single zip file in order to reduce the amount of time it will take to download those? I would normally say yes, and it will then zip up all those files and save them, and it's copied them out. There's only a small number of photos here, so it happened very quickly. Then just go ahead and remove the memory stick once the indication is given that the download has been completed. The next selection, delete report data. After you've downloaded, if you want to delete, you can. It's not necessary to delete all the data, but it will then start fresh. And the purge feature is what I recommend using. That will just delete the data when it's achieved a certain age. And that way that data is still accessible on board the icon up till the purge time. Next, I'd like to demonstrate the locate tray photo feature. Press the Locate Tray Photo button, and the icon allows you to choose various criteria in order to determine which tray photo you want to locate. If you're using the icon in validation mode, or the new count only mode, the icon knows the prescription number, and that's typically what you'd want to choose. So if you so click the keyboard icon next to that uh, RX number box, and then simply key in the prescription number of one of the prescriptions that you're searching for, and press OK. The icon will left pad that number with zeros in order to normalize it to a fixed length so that it will be able to find that prescription number for you. If you want, you can also specify a date if you know the exact date that you want, but it's not necessary to do so. You simply pull up that menu and you can specify a specific date. I'm going to turn that off so it'll find it no matter what. Then I hit the Search Now button and it tells me it's found one tray image that matched my criteria. If I press the Save button, it copies that saved image off into a separate folder on board the icon's hard drive, making it accessible over an Ethernet connection. But then it asks you if you would like to save that to a USB memory stick. I'm going to say no because we've already shown you how to do that and it's much more quick to access it directly over your network connection. If you are not using the icon in validation mode, then the icon is not aware of the prescription numbers. Therefore, you'd need to key in an NDC number that you wanted to search for specifically. So you can select that keypad icon and then key in the NDC number. The one I'm going to search for is 50580-012603. 
and hit OK. If I wanted to search for a specific date, again, I can. And in which case, with an NDC number, you might want to do that, because you're probably going to have a large number of prescriptions for that particular NDC. I'm just going to hit Search Now, and it says it found seven tray images for that particular NDC. Now, if I press Save, it saves it off to a special folder on the icon, so you can access just those photos that match that particular NDC. And I could, again, insert a USB memory stick in order to transfer these over to my computer, or I can simply access them over my network connection. The last button in this section is the auto report data. This button allows you to access a large number of reports that the icon can bring up right on screen and also allow you to download them in, in a format that is importable easily into your computer. For more information about the audit reports, please consult that video. The last section on the data tab is the physical inventory data section. The first button, download inventory data, is used to download all of the data that you've collected while counting the inventory in your pharmacy and putting it into a file format that can be easily be imported into various programs on your computer as well as into some of the pharmacy management systems that are out there. So you press the download button, it lets you know it's created that file in that format and it allows you at that point in time to download the data to a memory stick. The next section is the delete inventory data. Before beginning a new inventory, you'd first want to delete any data that you had from the prior inventory counts and start fresh. So I'm at yes, and it asks me, am I sure? And yes, and it goes ahead and deletes that data. And lastly, there's a checkbox to allow the icon to automatically delete the data after performing the download feature.